y'all, it's Rashinda here. Have you been wondering how to sew down your long hair in preparation for crochet braids? Well, so have I. In the videos I've come across, I'm guessing that people just assume that everyone knows how to thread a needle and sew down their hair. So they either speed that part of the video up or they skip it completely. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my braid pattern and also how you can sew up your hair. You'll need needles, thread, scissors, rubber bands, and bobby pins. You're gonna start by taking the loose end of the thread and measure out an arm's length. You don't have to use your arm if you don't want to. You can just cut out long pieces, about three or four of them, and then you'll want to fold that loose end down and cut the other side to match. Now it's time to thread the needle. Take one end of the thread that you just cut and push it through the hole on the needle. Once the thread is through, you'll need to pull that in to meet the other one. Once the two ends of the thread are even, you're going to hold them together and then double or triple knot it. To make the knots, you're going to twist them around your finger together to make a loop. And then you're going to pull the two ends through that loop. You want to try to get the knots close together. Me personally, I try to get them on top of each other so that it's a bigger knot and it does not slide at all. Once the thread is knotted properly, the needle should not come off and it should look like this. Make sure you cut those two loose ends close to the knots. Before we get into how to sew your hair down or up, whichever you prefer, here is my braid pattern. It is 11 cornrows straight to the back. And I have one that started in the middle of my head because the braids on either side of that braid would have been way too big. Just a quick note, I ended up sewing two braids together because I did not know how to close off the part by crisscrossing or connecting two braids. Now on to the good part. I split my braids into two sections, one with five braids and one with six braids. You're going to take one section and make one big braid. So you're going to take those five or six braids, braid them together to make one big braid. I braid it downward first and then I pull it out to the side to finish. If I start braiding by pulling them to the side first, when you go to pin it up, there will be this unnecessary buckle. Here I'm showing you that I could have taken the ends of a braid and crocheted it into itself or the braid next to it, but I decided to go the route that I'm about to show you. You braided the other side into one big braid. Now you're going to do the same thing with this one and secure the ends with a rubber band. Next, you're going to cross the braids, pulling them to the opposite side and then pinning them up. You can also fold the ends of the big braids under and pin all of the hair in the back. It's all going to get sewn down the same. Now you're going to take your curved needle and start threading. The first time you pull the thread through, don't pull it hard or it will come out of your braids. Only pull it to where the knot touches your braids and then as you keep threading, you will be able to pull it tighter, just not on the initial one. Don't start threading on the right side of your head and then jump to the left. You want to try to stay in the same area. Since you're going to be staying in the same area and not jumping from side to side, you're going to need to either re-thread your needle or have two to four needles pre-threaded. When the thread on your needle starts running low, you'll need to cut it right next to the needle. Keep enough thread on the needle so you'll be able to twist it around your fingers to knot it off. 
Here's my second pre-threaded needle. I'm just gonna sew down this side and then we're gonna move on to the ends of those big braids. So here's where you can either fold those ends and sew it down with the hair in the back using a new needle or you can sew it to a single braid like I did. Here's where I sewed down the ends of the other braid. And here's my hair all sewed up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please share this video inside your crochet groups as I'm sure that somebody will find this video very useful. And until my next video, bye.